Hey, what up? It's Mario. Final approach. Uh, we are starting our new web series called The Last Pass. And our first episode, we're going to head down to, well, actually head up and then head down to southern Saskatchewan to chase cranes. Sandhill Cranes with Mark DeRoche and the guys at Prairie Goose Outfitters. And you look at the crane and you're like, what, you know, what the hell is this thing? Listen, it is an ancestor of the dinosaurs. We are chasing dinosaurs, okay? Southern Saskatchewan, we're heading over there. We're gonna get on them. Uh, we got the new live crane decoys fully flocked and I'm excited to use them and also chase these, shoot them, and my God, eat them because you can joke all you want if you haven't had this and they say this is the ribeye in the sky and I could tell you for a fact that I have eaten just about everything in the outdoor world and this thing is number one. So we're off to do it in Southern Saskatchewan with Final Approach. We're in uh, southwestern Saskatchewan. I know we say Prairie Goose Outfitters, but we're actually home to the Canadian Crane Wrecking Crew. And we specialize right now in uh, Sandhill Cranes and Spec Trophy Hunts. I've been around the world with my military career and come back to this area because of just the, uh, the vast number of birds and the, uh, the opportunities. The area here is uh, basically the confluence of a vast area of staging for Sandhill Cranes. So I kind of found Sandhill Cranes and took on the challenge to learn how to hunt them because uh, they're not like your Canada geese or your specks or anything else. They kind of have their own unique way. They are the ribeye of the sky. And when you come to our outfit, you're going to get an opportunity to shoot that Sandhill in the morning and eat that Sandhill at night. A little on the Sandhill Crane, he's not that big. He might weigh maybe eight, nine pounds. They fly very low to the earth on a, on a calm day and fly very high on a windy day, which is kind of the opposite of waterfowl. They feed in barley fields for the most part, but they are omnivores, so they'll eat frogs, bugs, you name it, they eat it. If you come and experience this, you'll see it is different. Their sound is something to just to behold. <laughs> Listen to cranes at night or watching them come into a roost is something that any, any waterfowler or bird hunter should try to experience at least once in their life because it's just amazing. <laughs> There's some straight out front coming out. Those look like those are coming right out. nice. There's more out front, like left a little bit. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Watch that one, watch. 
Yep, let's go. That was cool. Well, it worked nice. Yeah, that was perfect. That's all right, they're not easy to kill. I'm, I'm going to go for a walk anyway. <laughs> Specs walking. Yeah. It's going to walk to Calgary. Everybody's getting their cardio in. Hey, so we're sitting in the SUB blinds, middle of the field in Saskatchewan, chasing cranes. Uh, we also have, there's a ton of Specs around, but, you know, trying to get them in the field with everything else, you just break some singles off and stuff like that. So we've been going at them uh, for a few mornings. So we're just trying to fill the freezer with some ribeyes. So we got the new decoys out. We'll show you those. And uh, we're just making a go of it in Saskatchewan. It's incredible to be back. Thank God we are back in Canada. We're gonna move a couple of decoys just because the wind shifted a little. You set your rig up very different in small family groups and uh, you're attempting to get them to come down and either work in behind those family groups or at least hover over and look because quite often they have to hover to land, especially on a windy day. So uh, it's just different. Wow, they are unbelievably tough. Way tougher than you think. So you gotta make sure that you get up in front of these birds because uh, body shots will generally not drop a crane. And uh, if you do happen to drop one with a broken wing or anything, I suggest that whoever's going after them take a pocket full of shells and a pair of running shoes because these guys can uh, outrun a cheetah, I think. It seems like it anyway at times. Best eyesight of the waterfowl community right there. And right here, the best eaten. <laughs> I can't wait. These five. Go. Oh yeah, look at that. Real mature. Yep, another mature one. Pretty awesome. This is a button. Yeah. Here. Hmm. Sandhill cranes can live to be very old. Uh, some estimate that the average age of these birds is 20 years. That's pretty incredible. So they've made this migration a lot of times. And you can see the age in the birds. You know, their foreheads are bald. They've got little bumps on them. And as they get more mature, that patch gets bigger and it gets redder. So. We got, uh, this one's got a, yellow, a lot of yellow in it. This of course is a juvenile. It's got no forehead patch yet at all. And it's very rusty even on its back. This is uh, definitely a big old crane here. Really long bill on it, you can see that. And look at the length of that forehead patch and really nice dark, dark red, almost got some purple hues in it. Of course, when they come in, if you're moving at all, look at the size of that eye. I mean, they don't miss much. They're looking hard all the time. So having good decoys is important, really good cover, and sit still. It's pretty nice. Oh, wow. It is a wet cold. This is, dry cold. this is a Prairie Goose Outfitter special. The special is what you order. Uh, this is ginger crane. This dish is incredible. Probably one of the better dishes or best dishes I've had ever. 
another day in paradise. That's what we're doing. So uh, yesterday, wind kicked up a little bit. Uh, it seemed like the birds, they kind of seemed to skirt out real low on one of the coolies and then they came out another way and then they started building up and then we, we got some back and forth. We just about finished limits yesterday, it was super close. Today we're at it again, a little different setup because the wind is, is, is going pretty good. So everything is upwind on the crane. The blinds are back here and if you can see, like we, we put the decoys in little family groups. So everybody's here and way upwind, they just kind of follow the humps and come up here and start looking at everything and the blinds are down there so we should be able to side shoot them and shoot them pretty close as long as we keep the wind going and everything stays strong so loving it being back in Canada there's no place like it in chasing cranes Juvie, it's a juvie. Out the back, out the back, straight out the back. It's gonna land. There you go. Hey, so yesterday I was shooting ones, uh, just speed shock, and man, I was just like, early morning I was hammering them, and then later in the morning, a little further shots, and I just seemed like hitting, hitting, take a couple shells to bring them down. They are incredibly tough birds, so I just kind of stepped up the game. So I'm just going uh, black cloud ones. You gotta head shoot them. If you don't head shoot them, it's unbelievable. No body shots. If you hang a leg, you gotta stay on them because you're trying to do the ethical thing and make sure if we hit one, we bring it down. So you just got to hammer them. So I'm stepping up the stepping up the ammo game, I guess you'd call it. So see what happens. Hey, there's a bunch out this way right here. Can hear him whistling, Mark, the whole time. Like, oh, yeah. like as soon as he broke here, I knew it was a juvenile. Just when he when he made his last twist here, he started peeping. I was going, he's a peeper. He's coming in. This is pretty awesome. Awesome colors. Cool. Yeah. It takes a lot of legwork, it takes a lot of scouting, and it takes a lot of ingenuity at times to outsmart these guys. They're cautious in everything they do. Numbers are increasing. So this, this bird is on the rise. Its population is at the highest ever. They are such a unique bird and, and a challenge. I guess that's what it is. It's just that challenge of something different. Every day they teach me something and the challenge remains to try to outwit these guys. Some days they win, most days we do. 